Hey there, scrapbookers. Welcome back to another exciting episode of Scrapbook with Becca. I am Becca Witt, and today I will be showing you how to use a cool tool called the Crocodile. Now, the Crocodile is used for setting eyelets and snaps and other similar embellishments. So this is one of my absolute favorite tools in general, and of course my favorite for setting eyelets and snaps. Now one of the cool things that I like about this tool is everything is in one place. You don't have to worry about getting a hammer and a mat and three different sized hole punches and three different sized eyelet setters. So everything is all inclusive right here. You have two different sized hole punches one at 1 8 inch and one 3 16 inch and then you have all of your tools needing to set the eyelets right up here at the top and with one simple motion you can do it all both punch holes and set the eyelets so it's really easy to use now another thing I like about it is it's quiet all you do is have the one punch motion you don't have to worry about waking anybody up because you're scrapbooking in the middle of the night and you're banging on a hammer. So you don't have to worry about that with this. Another really cool thing is to compare all of the different type of materials that it goes through. So I'm just going to punch through a couple of them so you can see. So right here I have like the bottom of a pop can. So it just goes through thin metal without a problem. It is nothing. There we go. So if you just want to see, it's just thin metal. As well as, I already started punching holes in this, but as you can see, I set all the eyelets in it. But we'll do that some more holes for ya. So you can just see. A lot of people started doing this. CD mini albums, and we're having a hard time getting holes through them in order to bind them. But as you can see by that hole, it goes right through the CD. And you also do not have any cracks. It's a problem when you actually did get a hole punched through the CD, it cracked all around. But you don't have that problem with this tool. It also goes through, of course, regular card stock without a problem. And then also goes through felt in different kinds of fabrics. So the felt is a little bit more delicate, so you have to kind of pull free the hole that was actually much, but you can see it goes right through without a problem. Now this is just a piece of cardboard from a box. And of course I use two hands, I'm just a weakling, but the, I can only use one hand, I just like using two. I, I get more of a firmer grip. Now this is just seven pieces of cardstock together. And it just goes right through. And then, of course, this is just a plastic bag. I know um, with plastic bags, sometimes the hole punch is all stuck. But the hole punch just goes right through. You can see it there. And do it through the bottom of the bag as well. So through like acrylic and any kind of texture like this, any kind of material. It just goes right through without a problem. So, I love it. It's so cool. And it's got so many different uses. I love being able to punch the holes for mini albums, whether it be like a paper bag album, or a CD, or just a regular cardstock. With the regular cardstock, you don't have to line all the holes all the pieces of paper up to try to get the holes about right. You just one punch right through. And 
And like I said, this one's just seven layers of cardstock, but of course you can do more without a problem. So I love it. It's so, so easy to use. So I'm going to show you how easy. So here's the smaller hole. That's the one eighth inch hole. And then over here we have the three sixteenths inch hole. Now with the one eighth inch hole, that's going to be all of your standard size eyelets. And the three sixteenths inch hole is going to be your jumbo and extra large eyelets. That's what it's going to actually say on the package for the eyelets or snaps. It's extra large versus just standard. So there's that. As well as I'm going to show you the different tops. And of course, the ones you're using are the ones that are pointing inward. Now there are two different sides. One's called the top and one's called the base. Now the top is going to go through your eyelet hole. I'm going to try to turn it sideways so you can see. So that's actually going to go on the top, which is over here. And then, of course, your base side is going to connect here to set the eyelet. And, of course, I didn't set it into anything, but I just wanted to show you how easy it is. So just set it. And of course, if you can see it here, let me get one of these actually. When the eyelid is set, the back side looks like little flowers when the metal comes apart and is set. So there is that. Now there's several different sized setters as well as what they call flare, which is on the base side. So you're going to see two big tops that have the extension. Now the smaller extension is going to be for your regular sized eyelets. And then as you pull it out and turn it around, 